So in looking at five here, um, the main discussion is about probability. So let's let's have some let's know let's figure out a few things about probability. Probability generally rate will range between zero and one. So it's a probability value will be like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Um, now that's the same as ranging between zero and one hundred percent. If you're thinking of that in terms of percent, in which case it would be twenty percent and thirty percent. You know, um, so this is your range for probability. You will never get a probability greater than one and not none less than zero. It's just going to be from zero to one and everything in between. Another thing you need to know about probability is the definition of the word and and the definition of the word or. The definition of the word and pretty much anytime you see something and you use a time. So meaning if for example I said the probability that I would eat what is I want to calculate the probability that I would eat either a sandwich or a um or or, or a bowl of soup this afternoon. Because I use the word and it will be the probability of a sandwich, the probability of a sandwich times the probability of a bowl of soup, right? That's how I would work through that because I use the word and. What if I said, what is the probability that I would eat a, a, a sandwich or a bowl of soup? So the or requires me to add, okay? So in or, we have an addition, in and, we have multiplication. So this will be, so these are, these are the two main differences, at least that you need to know for the GRE. And means times, or means plus. So let's jump into this question. This question tells us very clearly that C and D C and D is 0 0.11. And because they use the word and, I'm going to use times. So that's why I needed to clarify that before I jumped here, in here. Now, the question is asking for the probability of figuring out A. What's the probability of, I'm oh, sorry, of C? The probability of C compared to that of B, which is 0 0.09. Now, a lot of people pick D for this answer because they're, they're like, well, there is no way I'm going to find the probability of C and compare it to a 0 0.09. So the answer here should be D. That's not true. The answer is actually not D. So let's look at what I what we need to consider here. I'm going to do two multiplications here. If I say 2 times 3, we all know it's 6, right? But what if I said 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 times 0 0.3? What happens is the answer is 0 0.06, 0 0.06. What's happening? Anytime I multiply like a, a regular integer, 2 times 3, I get 6, which is a higher number. This 6 is higher than the 2 and 3. But the opposite is the case whenever you have numbers between 0 and 1, like a 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.2. If you multiply 0 0.2 times 0 0.3, I'm getting a number lower than these two numbers that I multiplied to get the 0 0.06. So it's lower here while it's higher here. That tells me very clearly when I look at C times D that the fact that I am getting 0 0.11, this 0 0.11 is lower than whatever C and D are individually. I'm very sure about that, just because of what I know about decimals. This is huge, because what that means is, if I'm looking at, even though I do not know the probability of C or D, the fact that it's giving me 0.11, I know C and D are greater, they are both greater than 0.11. Both of them are. Both C and D are greater than 0.11. I'm sure of that. So because of that, I can come here and say, well, I know the probability here is is greater, and I'm using the up arrow to show, to show that it is north of, is higher than 0.11. I have a value here of C. Even though I don't know what the, it is, I know it is higher than 0.09. So because of that, my answer here is A. I know this is like really, really tricky, but it, it's just a concept. And I don't want you to look at this question and think, oh man, there's no way I would have thought about that. Well, now you know, because I've told you. <laughs> so, but the key thing, guys, is just follow what I've said here. Understand the, the relationship when you're multiplying decimals and the fact that the result is lower. Because of that, I know C and D will be higher than 0.11. And if I'm comparing it to something that's lower than 0.11, um, something higher than 0.11 would always be greater than something that's lower than 0.11, like a 0.09. So the answer here is A. So really fascinating question. If you can use this concept with, of decimals, and multiplying decimals all throughout the GRE whenever you get a question about probability. Um, it's one of the tricky questions they can ask you. Now that you know it, you can use this in multiple other questions. So it's a really fun question to do. The answer here is A.